Hi, my name is Cheryl Haddocka and I play the French horn in the Buffalo Philharmonic Orchestra. If you're like me, sometimes practicing can be very difficult. You don't know when to do it, you don't know how long, you don't know where to do it, you don't even know what to do while you're practicing. Don't worry, I've been there and I totally get it. Well, when I was your age, I decided to break my practicing down into meals. In fact, all three meals of the day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, help me remember when and what I'm supposed to be doing with my instrument, the French horn. So to start the day, we always eat breakfast, which reawakens our bodies, gives us nutrients. Well, we wanna do the same thing with our instruments. We wanna be warming up maybe by using lip slurs, long tones, we add some fundamentals in there like scales and arpeggios. This really gives us our nutrition on our instrument, our early morning substance, and it really helps to reawaken muscles such as our embouchure, get our airflow going, and everything set and ready for the rest of the day. Then, when we get to lunch, lunch is usually a bigger meal than breakfast. This is where we have a lot more of the substance like protein and carbs, and that's the same for our instruments. In fact, this is the session that you want to be practicing etudes, some methods and maybe some just overall technique and uh, good exercises to keep keep your progress going on your instrument that's the lunch session okay and then when we get into dinner this is where sometimes people have meat and potatoes so i like to call this maybe the heavier and the bigger biggest session of the day because usually we have a little bit more time at the end of the day after school or after work so in this session, you're mainly gonna be practicing solos, okay, and really big musical pieces, maybe for your band or your orchestra. And then I really love eating dessert after dinner. So I like to do the same with my practicing. In fact, I love to play a couple songs that I really, really enjoy after all my meals are done. That's how I end my practice day and it makes me inspired and wanting and ready and really willing to get to practicing for the next day. And mind you, in all these sessions, every and any little bit counts. So if you only have 30 minutes for each session, that's already an hour and a half of practicing every day. That's, that would be awesome. 30 minutes for breakfast, 30 minutes for lunch, and 30 minutes for dinner. I hope this helps keep your practice session squared away and keeps you inspired to get them going. Awesome. Thank you and happy practicing.